So, uh, we have quite the weekend this week. Uh, right now, it is Thursday. I'm here to drop off these two speakers that I'm renting for an event for a past client. They're doing some sort of poker tournament, and so they just wanted some sound for background music. Let's go ahead and go inside. It's a little bit too windy for my taste. So yeah, we are here. Uh, it's just me for today. I'm just gonna put these two speakers here, have them set up, and then tomorrow they will have their poker tournament. Now, other than that, tomorrow, Friday, we have a small wedding in Atlas, Texas, which is about 45 minutes from Corpus. So we'll be going over there tomorrow for that wedding. And then Saturday also, we have our second prom of the season, of the year. We have Freer's prom, which is our second time doing it. That is about an hour and a half drive from Corpus. So it's gonna be a lot of driving, a lot of traveling, late nights, both Friday and Saturday. So we have a game plan set up already of what we're gonna be doing, but it is a lot to do regardless. So. I'm gonna get these speakers set up real quick and then I'll be back uh, to explain a little bit more about the weekend. All right, they're all set up now. I had to put them a little bit closer because I only brought a 25 foot cable, but all they need is a simple aux cable, which is this one right here, nice and easy. This will go to their phone or their laptop whatever they're going to use and the cool thing is that the k-12s have that aux input right there so out of this one going into that one and that's it so i'm gonna go ahead and turn these off and that's it for rental number one okay so what is the plan for the weekend so uh, again, like I said, today is Thursday. Tomorrow's the first gig. It is a wedding in Alice. Alice is about 45 minutes away from Corpus. So as of right now, the plan is tomorrow morning, early on Friday, uh, we have to go and pick up the generator from Sunbelt Rentals because they don't open on Saturdays. We need the generator for Saturday, not tomorrow. But since they don't open, we have to pick it up Friday. So that's gonna be the very first thing we do. We're gonna go pick up that generator and then from there we're gonna take off to Freer first. And so once we get to Freer, we're going to drop off the generator. We're also going to drop off the screen, half of the lights, half of the sound, uh, because the wedding, like I said, it is really, really, really small. We're only using two subs, two tops, uh, the small crank stands, six lights, you know, it's super small. So we don't need any of that, that's all just weight that's gonna make my fuel efficiency worse for the weekend. And it's just, you know, it's just gonna make the truck slower, all of that. So there's no point in carrying it with me the entire day Friday. So to kill time on Saturday, and that way we don't have to worry about the load in, any of that, we're gonna do that tomorrow at Freer High School. So the screen, half of the lights, half of the sound will already be in the gym. That way Saturday we just show up straight to the setup the next day right now we are on our way to air gas which is uh, the company that i use to buy co2 from i have to go refill my co2 tanks before we head out and then i'm also gonna meet rolando one of my guys y'all know rolando the tall one uh, i'm gonna meet him at sunbelt to pick up the generator so he'll be taking the generator since he's the only one in the team with a truck uh so that's what we have for now and then after that we'll go back home we'll pick up jay also and he'll be going with me to alice like i said it's a really really small gig uh i really just need one guy for this one but saturday uh which will you'll also be seeing in this video saturday that's gonna be a pretty big gig so we'll be taking everyone <laughs> for that one i'll get back with you guys once i'm at air gas and then once we're at sunbelt and then from there, we'll be on our way to Freer first. All right, we just made it to Freer High School. We are here, got the truck and the trailer, Rolando's truck and the generator. We're calling her Jenny for today. It's a brand new 2023 model. Say what's up, Rolando. What's up? We you tired? from Corpus. Hell yeah. Jay right here, also tired. So we're waiting on them to open up the door. We're gonna unload most of the stuff in here. All right, so we're mostly done unloading right now. We got eight of the MB1s right here, the big crank stands, the box for the 360, 
some truss that we're using, the 360 itself. Six cases worth of screens, two of our subs, the power box over there, up lights, and that's about it. The rest of the stuff here is going to Alice with us. So this is what we have. Sparklers, wash lights, onto our ice, cable box, another cable box, set of subs, and then a set of speakers that's going with us too. That's about everything. Do it, do the thing, do the thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> As for the generator, again, this is a brand new generator that Sunbelt is renting to us. So it's a three phase generator, but we will be using it in single phase. Over here, you can see oh, all the internals. So luckily, I know how to use these things. And then the box, I'll show it to y'all. It's inside the power box that we're using. So if you've seen my older videos, you have seen this box before. My dad and I made it together. Eight circuits, eight 20 amp circuits. We got about a hundred feet of cable right here. So with generators, you usually have all these options right here with the uh, connectors, regular plugs, but we're just going direct to the generator right here. So nice and simple. I really like this generator. It's a lot better than the one we had last year. The one from last year was quite a bit older. It was a 15 kW. This is a 20, or actually a 25. It's a multi-quip. So this will be perfect. It'll be awesome. So we're done. We're gonna go back to Alice and we will be back once we're setting up for that event. You ready? Let's go. All right, y'all, we just made it to Alice. We are at the 611 here in Alice. We've never been here. It's our first time at this hall. So this is a wedding. Oh, check it out right now. So they have a band and a few other things that they're having. It's just a pretty small hall. Nothing too crazy. Like I said, it's a really small wedding. So it's gonna be pretty, pretty easy, thankfully. But the band is here already. They beat us to it. They're setting up. We're going to figure out where we're going to be. So I'll get back with you guys once we are all set up. All right. So we fast forward to the actual event. They just did the ceremony. We got everything set up so that they have a band. This is the band set up right here. They're using some JBL line arrays and JBL subs. Everything is passive. For our setup, we are using just two base boss subs, two of the K12s and then the two small crank stands with two MB1s and two jolts on each one. Super simple, we got the sparklers out there ready to be used onto our eyes just as well. Super easy gig, should be an easy tear down. At the end of the night, I think we're gonna start tearing down at about 11. I'm only with Jay today. Jay's the only one helping me out today. Oh, where's she going?
Oh, he played y'all, he played y'all. Alright, we're gonna try this one more time. One, two, three. Oh, they fell, they fell. Alright, we got ourselves a winner. Let's go ahead and take a picture, guys. just finished uh, the band is gonna take over from now on and they're gonna finish up the night the wedding ends at 12 so we uh, started tearing down already that way we can get a head start and hopefully leave Alice before 12 uh, I don't want to stay out of I don't want to go back to Corpus too late I want to go to sleep at a pretty early time that way tomorrow morning I can wake up and go do the rest of the stuff I have to do so if you have been watching this whole time this video I don't even know how long this video is as of now that's the bus for the band anyways I don't know how long the video is as of now but if you've been watching since the beginning then you know that I was renting out two speakers at the country club so I need those speakers for tomorrow night so I'm gonna go pick them up tomorrow morning and that way we can uh, have them for tomorrow night so that's one of the things I have to do. There's a few other things, um, just a few errands. I need to go pick up haze fluid. Uh, just a few things that I didn't really get to do throughout the week, which I probably should have, but it's fine. Good morning, everyone. It is now Saturday, the last gig of the week. Uh, we're back in Corpus. We're gonna go grab the two speakers that we were renting at the country club. I brought the car since the truck has a trailer. It's just too much of a hassle to take the truck around. So uh, we're gonna go pick those up and then we'll be back with the guys ready to leave to Freer. And then we'll get it going with Freer's prom. So, poker tournament was a pretty good turnout, they told me. I, I didn't see any pictures or videos, but from what they are telling me, it was a huge success, so it's cool. It's a good thing. Always good to hear. So we're gonna pick up these speakers, take them back home, and then we'll be on our way to Freer. Okay, so we're here at Freer High School. They already got most of it set up. Pipe and drape is up. We're starting to build the stage. We already have most of it done, or some of it. Skip Entertainment, my good friends at Skip, they provided the dance floor. And the curved truss over there, see my circle is 26 feet. This is a 32 foot circle. So you'll see what we'll be doing with that in a second. But yeah, our good friends at Skid provided that. We got Alex and Brian for today. We'll be using most of it, all 30 screens, all 16 lights. Only four K-12s because Skip has two of mine that he's been borrowing from me. So we got all that. Hard at work? Hard at work, hard at work. There's Jenny. That's a thick cable that goes to my distro. All right, let me open this up and then I'll show you how we're gonna do this. All right, so first thing you wanna do is take off the nuts for this plastic cover right here. All right, so for those of you who is your first time hooking up a generator, if you're using single phase, which is the most common, You'll have your two hots, which are the red and the black, your neutral, which is the white, and your ground, which is the green. So on a generator like this one, it's a three phase, but it also works as a single phase. So we're running it on single phase, which means that to get 240, you need to hook your hots to the two outer ones. So U and W will be our hots. This is the neutral, and this is the ground. All right, and as you can see, we got one hot on U, another hot on W, neutral on O and ground right there. And as you can see right here, it also tells you. So at single phase 240, you got your two hots, U and W, your neutral, which gives you the 240 or the 120 on each one for 240, and then your ground. So super simple, pretty easy to use. So we're all done there. That's all done. 
Now for the fun part. Here's another update of what we have so far. The stage is mostly set up. We just have to plug everything in, change the channels on the lights, maybe program the screen a little bit, and we are done. So this is the main stage, and then on this side also I added the small crank stands with another two beams on each one for some backlighting on either side of the dance floor. So this is the dance floor right here. Got a crank stand there, another crank stand over there, and then our 360 is going over there. So it's a pretty good looking stage. We've never done this one before, but I've been wanting to do it for a while. And again, shout out to Skip for lending us this curved truss right here for the booth. It's a really nice look. So yeah, we're gonna keep going. I'll show you guys the sound check just in a second and we'll be back. Okay, here comes another update. We got lights running and the screen, all 30 panels. Backlighting back there, running as well. Cruise over here. Also using our 360 tonight this is the fiesta entertainment 360 right here so got the platform itself a backdrop with our logo four wireless lights and then the barriers of course so got that as well stages over here we're just finishing up a few minor details before we start the night off As you can see, this is basically everything we're using. So here is the rundown of the equipment. Of course, sound, four Bass Boss SSP 218s, four QSC K12s. I have six, but two of them are currently being used. So we only have four for tonight, but really we don't need six. Four is just gonna be just fine. We are using 10 MB1s. We have six here in the stage and another four back here. And then our new LED screen, all 30 panels. So three by 10. It's a big, massive LED screen. And we have it running at 35% brightness right now. I might raise it to about 50 maybe, but we'll see once we get to that. Running my SZ, of course, my DMX, Resolume, Serato, all the good stuff. So we'll be starting in about an hour or so. so. We'll be back once the night starts.
done we're just about done tearing down guys are playing with cards it's a bunch of cards all over the place but it was a success freer's prom 2023 our second time doing it second time in a row full-on success 360 flawless setup flawless uh, they gave us the option of leaving everything and coming back tomorrow morning but i am extremely tired from <laughs> the long 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 weekend that we've had uh so it's better to just pull an all-nighter finish up tear down and go back home so you can see everything back here sub subs the lights 4 8 12 16 screens 6 12 18 24 and 30 down there and then the top one has cables, uh, power com box, or power in general box, bunch of power cables, Jenny, everything. So it was a very, very eventful weekend, very successful weekend. And we have another week just like this week, next week. So you will get to see all of that in the next video. But I'm gonna end the video right here. I think this gig log has gone long enough. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, whatever. That's about it, guys. Good night. I will see y'all in the next gig log.